Arthritis is the degeneration of the joint cartilage causing uh, pain and uh, disability or dysfunction of that joint. There are a number of causes for arthritis, particularly in the foot and ankle, but that really depends slightly on what uh, joint of the foot and ankle is involved. For example, arthritis in the big toe joint is slightly different from a causation factor uh, to arthritis in the ankle. The most common causes we see for uh, foot and ankle arthritis is uh, primary osteoarthritis, uh, which usually has a small hereditary component and therefore may run in families. And that's certainly more common in arthritis of the great toe joint. Post-traumatic arthritis, on the other hand, is the most common cause of arthritis that we see in ankle arthritis. And that usually results from either severe ankle fractures or recurrent ankle instability injuries. Um, which then cause degeneration of the joint. Other common factors or causes may be inflammatory conditions, for example, gouty arthritis, or patients with rheumatoid or other inflammatory conditions that may cause a secondary degenerative arthritis in the joint. Much less common causes are those like post-infection, uh, what we call a septic arthritis, um, or neuropathic type arthritis, occurring in uh, severe diabetics with a peripheral neuropathy. And finally, and probably less common, least common, are some of the, uh, the arthritis resulting from either developmental or congenital abnormalities of the ankle uh, and usually the hind foot or midfoot. Uh, symptoms of arthritis in the foot and ankle are usually the three cardinal symptoms that we see generally when describing arthritis. These are pain, swelling, and loss of function. Essentially, the pain that one feels in an arthritic joint, particularly in the foot and ankle, is usually of an aching nature, may be described as a nagging pain, something like a, a, a toothache, it's a deep-seated pain. The pain is usually aggravated with activity or exercise, uh, and it's usually relieved with rest as the, the arthritis uh, progresses, one may even get pain at night. Initially, the pain may be relieved with simple analgesics or anti-inflammatories. The other symptom of swelling, again, is usually worse with activity and it's reduced with rest, ice packs or anti-inflammatories. The final symptom of loss of function is usually described by patients as a reduced range of movement. Patients will normally complain of stiffness in the affected joint for example, the ankle or the great toe. And this reduced activity is usually a result of pain arising from a degenerative joint. Arthritis of the foot and ankle is a fairly complex uh, presentation or, or complaint by the patient. And therefore, essentially a thorough clinical assessment uh, needs to be performed by the treating uh, consultant uh, in discussion with the patient and his symptoms. A full history is really important to discuss the contributing factors, for example, if the patient's had any specific trauma or if they have any other inflammatory conditions uh, which may be contributing to the arthritis. Following uh, a history, a good thorough examination by the consultant to assess the severity of the arthritis, its effect on neighboring joints, and the level of functional disability that the patient may be experiencing. Once these uh, factors have been uh, considered, investigations may uh, complete the full picture, such as x-rays, possibly CT or MRI scans. And once we have all this information together, in conjunction with the patient, we could then discuss the options of treatment. Broadly speaking, there are two options of treatment, and these are conservative or non-operative measures uh, and the other is obviously a surgical treatment, which may, in the ankle and foot arthritis, involve uh, simple fusion procedures or alternatively joint replacements. There are a number of non-surgical options, um, and these really depend on the site or the particular joint involved in the foot and ankle. For example, arthritis in the great toe would be managed significantly differently different from that of the ankle. Initially, simple things like painkillers, anti-inflammatory medications may help. 
um, particularly in foot arthritis or toe arthritis, specialized orthotics or insoles uh, may help to alleviate any local pressure or pain uh, arising in the shoe or from, from the specific toe joint involved. More uh, around the ankle or in the hind foot, um, splints or braces may often help to offload weight-bearing pressure and therefore help with pain symptoms. Particularly in the foot, shoe wear advice is extremely important. Uh, this may help to accommodate deformities uh, as, that are arising from the arthritis and also uh, may help to reduce pain symptoms. The ankle particularly is a very small joint compared to, for example, the hip and knee. Um, it's also ex uh, having the same amount of weight uh, expressed upon it as the hip and knee uh, when standing and walking and therefore weight loss is an important factor to consider, particularly in ankle arthritis. Other aids such as walking sticks, possibly a crutch, may also help in alleviating the weight reduction uh, and the pain uh, from a joint. Non-surgical interventional techniques may also involve uh, things like physiotherapy, uh, which may help improve the strength uh, of the supporting muscles, particularly around the ankle, and they may also help with gait analysis and gait function. Guided in injection techniques into specific joints uh, may also be performed uh, to help with the inflammation and pain associated with arthritis. Uh, these are usually performed under x-ray control or under ultrasound control. If the patient's symptoms deteriorate, then uh, surgical options may be required. I think that there are some ways to avoid uh, the progression uh, rather than the onset of foot and ankle arthritis. And these may really relate to the original cause of the arthritis. For example, patients with gout, uh, with gouty arthritis uh, may uh, afford better control of the gout and prevent uh, the gouty episodes in the joint causing the degenerative change. Rheumatoid and other inflammatory conditions have also seen a significant improvement in their medical management of the disease process with now much less end-stage arthritis presenting in our orthopedic clinics. There, are, there aren't really any tablets or foods that, or foodstuffs that can prevent the onset of arthritis. Glucosamine and chondroitin sulfate studies are controversial and they haven't really been proven to help uh, in the, uh, avoiding the onset of arthritis. In my opinion, one should really try and keep a little active, some daily exercise, maintain their recommended weight, and manage any specific medic medical condition appropriately.